Russia fired missiles into Kyiv while the head of the UN visited the city for a meeting with Zelensky. This post received a score of 65,000, with an upvote ratio of 92%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. Interestingly, if this had killed the UN Secretary General it would be the second UNSG to have died in a war zone. Which reminds me of a quote from him I saved, years ago. It's a gentle, artistic, beautiful way of thinking that sadly seems entirely foreign to the Russians who are ruining their country and trying to bring that same ruin to Ukraine. I never knew he said such beautiful things. Thank you for sharing. The others are right. Check out his book. Markings. It looks like something I'd be really interested in. Thanks for the recommendation. Russia is trying really hard to get the rest of the world involved without directly attacking them. Nah, it's just bully tactics. They didn't do a damn thing when actual country representatives visited Kyiv, because they knew what the response would be. They fired missiles at trains right after Blinken and Austin left. And before it was announced that they'd successfully left Ukraine. It happened like a few kilometers from my house, I could even see the giant black smoke from the explosion. I'm glad you're okay. Stay safe. Think of it this way. Did Russia strike when any other head of state or representative visited Kyiv? No. This was a message to the Secretary General, who visited Russia just yesterday. They want the UN to know they have no respect for the institution. They hit some train stations over the last couple weeks once when a US delegation was in town and another time when a NATO delegation was visiting. Those train stations were hit immediately after us delegation left, making it look like they wanted to hit them but not really. The equivalent of yelling? Hold me back bro? As the seven-foot guy about to beat your ass is out of earshot. Russia benefits from a chaotic and divided world. It's the biggest driving force in the rise of nationalism. Nationalist tendencies result in a society that becomes more isolationist, which allows more breathing room for mafia states to do whatever they want. The next time you feel that sense of uber-nationalist pride, that feeling that your French or UK people are better than the Italians or the Romanians, or your Americans are better than Mexicans, just know that you are falling right into the hands of Russian doctrine. Here is an interview with an ex-KGB agent explaining that this is exactly correct. I will never not upload this video when I see it posted. I've shared it myself a few times and it boggles my mind how little attention it seems to get. It's extremely enlightening and it explains so much stuff we are seeing nowadays, and the interview is almost 40 years old. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.